welcome to your midday sports. We begin with news on athletics. A glitzy lineup of local and international stars have been confirmed for the inaugural staging of the Jamaica Athletics Invitational Meet set for May 11 at the National Stadium. Headlining the international cast is a former world 100 meter champion Fred Curley of the United States, along with Zarnell Hughes, Marvin Bracey, Trayvon Bromel, Toby Amusan, Julian Alfred, Dina Asha Smith, and Shamir Little. The local aggregation is spearheaded by Olympic sprint hurdles champion Hansel Parchment and also includes rising triple jump sensation Jaden Hibbert, Rashid Broadbell, Frederick Dakers, Daniel Williams, Shanika Ricketts, Megan Tapper, Rochelle Clayton, Sharoki Young, and Stacian Williams. J3A's executive member and athletes liaison officer Marvin Anderson elaborated on why the local governing body decided on staging a meet of this magnitude. We believe in the year 2024, as our athletes get ready um, for the Paris Olympics, competition is integral in part of the development. And sometimes the association goes above and beyond and provide the local development competition. But we believe there's another step that needs to go in terms of the preparatory work for our athletes, and that is providing them with international elite level competition. And while many might say, yes, these athletes, they travel to Diamond League, they travel all over the world and get this competition. But I'll remind you all that those athletes are just limited to maybe each year, roughly 10 to 15 Jamaican athletes that participate in the highest level of the Diamond League. So it simply means that when we think of the mid-tier and our lower developing athletes, there is pretty much no opportunity for them. Negotiations are ongoing with world 400-meter champion Antonio Watson, while more local athletes will be confirmed in due course. The official launch for the meet, which is classified as a World Continental Tour silver event, took place earlier today at the AC Hotel by Marriott in St. Andrew and was aired live on TVJ Sports Network. The Guyana Harpy Eagles have moved on from their overnight 275 for 7 to 410 for 9 on day 2 of their penultimate round regional 4-day championship match against the Jamaica Scorpions at Sabina Park. Kemal Savory, who resumed on 127, went on to make 155. Tevin Imlak, who was 33 overnight, remains at the crease on 87. Fast bowler OJ Shields has so far taken 4 for 99 and Derval Green 3 for 104. Manchester High were 72 at sports time in their second innings on today's second day of the Issa Grace Headley Cup final against Mayday High at the Manchester High School ground. This represents an overall lead of 188 for Manchester High. Matthew Morgan on 50 and Brian Barnes 5 are the not-out batsmen. Earlier Mayday, who resumed on a precarious 118 for 9 in their first innings reply to 219 made by the home team, failed to add to their tally as they were dismissed in 33.4 overs. That gave Manchester High a first innings lead of 101 runs. Revan Morgan bagged 5 for 17 and Matthew Morgan 2 for 43. Finally, Jamaica has been drawn in Group A of the CONCACAF Under-20 Championship alongside the United States, Costa Rica and Cuba. The competition runs from July 19 to August 4 in Mexico. The top two finishers in each group and the two best third-place teams will advance to the knockout quarterfinal round. The four semifinal teams at the tournament will also seal participation in the 2025 FIFA Under-20 World Cup. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shamela, it's back to you. Thank you, Spencer. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, good afternoon.